<clears throat> all right so i made this video few days ago uh, whether one can leave within this uh, 41000 euro per year postdoc salary in county limerick in the ireland and now one brother uh, has uh, commented that brother can you share some details about living expenses in mainuth and also about transportation options there thanks so thank you for your comment uh, i don't know from uh, what's the reason you are coming to mainuth and what will be your salary and so on but let's see uh, the <coughs> rent and so on so as usual um, uh, first i'll check daft uh, daft dot i e and uh, so i assume that he will be sharing first so let's see how what's the properties are available in mainuth uh, so by the way mainuth uh, and dublin it's like one hour bus uh, journey so it's very near to sort of dublin so mainuth and surrounds kildare so mainuth is the kind of main town and the kildare is the county okay so it's in county kildare it's a different county than dublin and uh, so on so let's see here mainuth and surrounds area there are 31 properties available for sharing let's see what's the prices so it's like 200 euro per week and that means uh, so 800 euro per month and this is 550 per month this is 950 per month this is 850 per month 550 800 160 per week and so it means uh, 640 per uh, sort of uh, month this is 850 per month this is 1100 per month 825 per month 825 per month 855 850 per month 500 per month and uh, so on an average you can see that it is more than uh, 650 per uh, month right because whatever property i see most of them are like above 800 right like you see a lot of above 800 lot of above 600 700 very few are there below like uh, 600 and so on three four which is available at the moment this is 700 600 so if you take an average it will be definitely around 700 uh, euro per month for a single bed uh, in mainuth okay and also uh, you have to be lucky that's the main thing i always tell people that you have to be very lucky uh, <clears throat> to get a cheap accommodation uh, when you are coming to Ireland and if that is available uh, in Daft. So Daft, apart from Daft, um, uh, apart from Daft, there are some Facebook groups uh, based on each country. So for example, uh, for example, um, Sligo, I live in Sligo, Sligo accommodation. So for County Sligo, Sligo Accommodation is the Facebook group. There are like 9,000 uh, uh, members. There are uh, like 9,000 members. So you join the group. Uh, there should be some this kind of Facebook uh, sort of um, group where you can join and uh, you can post your uh, requirements for accommodation and also people post as an advertisement uh, to take uh, tenants in this kind of groups okay so yeah apart from daft but um, i would say there are some scams uh, in facebook so you have to be very careful while searching accommodation from uh, sort of uh, facebook but uh, daft is uh, scam is very sort of less i mean i have dealt many times in da uh, in daft with people from Daft and over the last five years and my experience was uh, good not not bad at all 
so anyway you can see that if you want to share in menu then on an average your uh, sort of um, accommodation will be uh, per month 700 euro 700 i am writing the uh, in my with the pen and paper uh, so accommodation for Maynooth 700 euro per month and apart from this 700 euro per month there will be 150 euro i add 150 or now i can say yeah 150 for electricity and there are a lot of other bills available like uh, bins and then wi-fi and all this sort of things uh, 150 uh, electricity bill and there will be like 30 euro for your mobile and so on uh, 30 euro for mobile and so on and as i was as i always said that if you cook uh, if you cook by yourself and buy things from like tesco or little uh, little and like super value super value is uh, super value is a bit costly uh, things are a bit costly mostly rich people go there for shopping and another cheapest option is aldi then per person uh, if you cook uh, almost like 80 percent of the time in a month then per person it should be, even if you eat meat every day chicken every day all everything meat every day it will be like 200 euro for a single person for a month uh, for food so um uh, yeah so and then transportation this brother asked about transportation in Maynooth. so the thing is uh, so transportation in Maynooth. so the thing is i know because i was in dublin for uh, four years so dublin to Maynooth. i was in dublin for may uh, four years and i went Maynooth many times so there is a good thing is there is a bus from dublin to Maynooth, direct bus from dublin to Maynooth and um, Maynooth to dublin uh, Maynooth to dublin and it's cheap so if you write dublin to Maynooth. Uh, or say menu to Dublin and click on the bus so you see that it takes like 45 minutes to 50 minutes there are a lot of buses uh, like every hour or every 40 minutes there is a bus from menu to Dublin Dublin to menu because <laughs> so this is a bit funny I used to teach few students uh, who were studying in menu the university uh, so I was teaching some students from Maynooth University uh, and they used to come to Dublin uh, to take my take my lessons okay and I used to ask them if uh, how is the Maynooth to live and so on but they used to say there is nothing much you can do in Maynooth so people from Maynooth come to Dublin for having fun and shopping and all these sort of things so uh, in terms of, uh, I think there should be some transportation within Maynooth. Of course, there should be, but it will be not frequent, like as in like Dublin bus. So Dublin bus is, um, I'd say, very sort of uh, good service in 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 my opinion. So within Dublin and a little outskirts of Dublin they sort of uh, cover uh, the the service and uh, it is it is okay even if you do not get like uh, one bus from one place to another you may have to take you, have, you may have to change one or two buses but it will be still okay that there at least you will know that there is some transportation okay uh, but uh, apart from dublin uh, Cork and Galway these three cities on other 23 counties there is almost no public transportation at all okay so this is why I had to buy a car when I moved to Sligo so in Sligo we have only two bus two bus bus S1 and bus S2 bus S2 in Sligo you see so uh, so apart from uh, so I think 
menu will be like same it will not be um, there will be not many much public transport even if it is there then it will be like uh, every one hour one bus or something like that within menu i'm i'm talking okay but if you want to come dublin then there are you see you saw a lot of buses are there from dublin to menu then menu to dublin and i still remember i think bus 66 uh, in dublin right uh, bus 66 to Maynooth. Yeah, I think bus 66 is goes to Maynooth, Meridian Square to Maynooth. Yeah. Maynooth stop. Yeah, you see? So bus 66. I think there should be some other buses uh, also. And they're quite cheap. So, so, so okay. So let's get come back to the uh, monthly sort of basic expenses. So, 700 was the uh, rent 150 was electricity and other sort of bills uh, when you are in the house 30 euro for the mobile and so on and 200 for the food so if i calculate then it will be 900 and thousand and so around 1200 so for single person 1200 euro for a single person in Maynooth so that's the sort of thing like 700 for the uh, rent 150 for the bills electricity bills and so on and 200 for the food per month and uh, 32 euro for the uh, 30 for the uh, 30 for the uh, mobiles and so on uh, mobile bills and so on these are the basics basic sort of thing and oh I, I forgot to add some transportation transportation you can add another 100 euro and sort of clothes and so on like another 50 euro or something but as I said in my previous video we are not buying clothes every month but if you are coming with partner and children then uh, you probably need to buy clothes some clothes every one or two months and so on so yeah so you can see more than like on an average is like uh, i don't know maybe uh, yeah 1300 euro per month you can see for the single person and now let's see uh, what happens what's the rental condition for a family in Maynooth. so let's go again to doubt And then you rent, go to rent and you do Maynooth. Maynooth and first of all, you see, there are only seven sort of properties available. And here is four properties available, right? So that's horrible. So it says 1,650 uh, per month. It's a one bed, one bath apartment. So here in this property, you can only stay with your partner in one bedroom apartment you cannot even stay with your children right and this is a five bed five bath house so it is probably for sharing with other sort of people and it's a five thousand per month this is a four bedroom one bathroom apartment two thousand eight hundred per month and this is a studio it means you can stay alone uh, small studio apartment and it is 300 per week that means 1200 per month this is a one bedroom one bathroom and this is 1750 per month horrible this is two bedroom apartment two bathroom apartment and 2200 per month holy crap you see so you can imagine so it is mm, if you come with a family then you at least have to take like two bedroom apartment right even if you have one children then for example i stay in three bedroom apartment in sligo and and it's only 1000 euro per month and i which i got like 15 months ago i was very lucky and i got it but now the if i have to move some another apartment or another house at the moment in, even in sligo then i will be spending 1600 to 1800 per month for three bedroom and so on 
but here in two bedroom its average cost is like 2000 uh, around 2000 euro per month so i don't know um, I, I i i feel very sorry for all the people uh, who are coming to ireland and mostly in the costly areas like dublin cork galway maynooth and this kind of uh, places it's uh, the as soon as i see uh, this kind of huge rental price i get really uh, depressed and so yeah you can you can see so there are some apart from daft as i told that you can go to uh, like facebook groups based on the counties and based on the places and there are some agents for example i took uh, yes for example i live in sligo agents rental agents in sligo so you see there are like groups uh, there are like rental agents o b g group d n g for example i took from them d n g flanagan ford they are very good there are sligo estates and so on so same e, uh, so apart from daft you can go to directly to their offices okay and you can they will give you a form either online or a paper then you have to put all the details and then they will get back to you if there are some rental properties are available to rent okay so there is a queue system here okay so uh, you can go to um, uh, for example this brother will come to Maynooth so let's see what's the rental agents are there in Maynooth rental agents in Maynooth so you see Farrelly and Southern Eastern agents Conan property Sherry Fitzgerald Brady and sort of this kind of things dng menuth digital office center menuth and there are some uh, agencies so you have to go to them and you have to tell that this is my budget and um, i want to uh, and this number of people uh, i have in my family and then they will uh, sort of uh, take all your information and they'll give you a call if if and only if there is any property available as far as your choice as far as your budget and so on if there is no then they will definitely not going to call you so i was extremely lucky and they called me and i got a in the you know, this uh, sort of cheap apartment uh, in the center of the sligo town so that's it i hope this uh, sort of uh, this uh, sort of uh, helpful for this brother so uh, so if you come single then on an average 1200 uh, to 1300 euro per month will be cost and if you come family then the house rent is on an average is 2000 euro per month and then you can add your food your transport and so on so it will be around like 2600 euro per month if uh, or more than a little more than that thank you